Hello YouTube viewers and random Doctor Who fans. Today I thought I'd review the uh, Doctor Who figure of Professor Edwin Bracewell. And here he is in front of me. First of all, I'll take a look at the box. It's pretty much the same as all the other boxes in the range. So if you've seen some of my other reviews, I'm, not, I'm just going to fly through it here. Uh, if you haven't seen them, check them out because I've reviewed the box a bit better. But uh, as you can see, highly detailed puzzle figure, new figure, because obviously why would it be an old figure? Doctor Who logo, Professor Bracewell, Professor Bracewell, Time Vortex in the background looks like the one from Down the Rabbit Hole. Uh, BBC logo around the back here, as you can see. Uh, other figures in the range, Red Dalek now, of course, included. Character options, blah, blah, blah. Uh, five years and up. And uh, it's already starting to fall apart, so I'll get him out of the box. Hello, I think that's the fastest I've ever reviewed a box in my life. Anyway, this is Professor Bracewell out of his box, so uh, taking a look at him here. My camera is rubbish, so uh, I don't really know if I can show you him up close or not. But uh, as you can see, the detail on the face is spectacular. He's even got some creases in his forehead. Uh, detail on the hair is spectacular. His glasses seem to be a little bit big, but they actually do have glass in them. Like, uh, well, it's obviously plastic, but... It, it just looks so incredible. The detail is phenomenal, like especially on his lips and his nose is great. Uh, the detail on his little uh, coat is fantastic as well. His little lab coat. Uh, you can see the strap around the back and all like little creases. Uh, it really reminds me of uh, the River Song feature and the creature. Uh, uh, what am I talking about? The River Song figure and the Vashti Narada creature uh, released as part of last year's range. Uh, his little uh, tie and shirt is uh, detailed incredibly well, as is his little uh, little chain for his pocket watch on his uh, waistcoat. And uh, trousers, of course, designed fantastically. I've also noticed as well, they've used kind of like a charcoal black for his trousers, but using an actual black for his shoes. Now that's... Uh, that's a really great attention to detail. I think it's fantastic. Uh, as far as articulation goes, well, uh, his head can do the full exorcist twist. Uh, his arm can spin the whole way around. Yo! <laughs> uh, his hand can turn in and out, just a little join there on his arm. Uh, it can also bend up and out like that. And uh, his hand can turn, which is quite cool. Uh, as far as his legs go, it's kind of impeded a little bit by the coat, but uh, if you take a look at here, he can sort of lift his leg up, and he can lift it out and do the splits, so, uh, so he can kick quite well. Uh, his leg also turns here, just at the uh, top of the calf muscle. Uh, his knee also bends in and out, which is quite cool too. And uh, yeah, so I think that's, yeah, that's pretty much all the articulation he does. Uh, he also comes with uh, accessories, which is cool. So uh, first of all here, as you can see, he has his damaged arm, uh, which is quite cool because you can see like the sort of, sort of been blown away and sort of exploded. And you can kind of see little wires and stuff poking out of the top there. I don't know if my camera can get it in range. But uh, there's also a nice little touch here, like so kind of like little black smoke damage bits across the uh, sleeve, which is, which is a really nice touch. And... Uh, Something I wasn't expecting when I first saw it, but you can see it's kind of like sort of been blackened and, and kind of uh, damaged a little bit. So uh, this attaches to his arm. Oh, sorry. Marking the place. This attaches to his arm uh, via a little mushroom cup. So you pop off his arm and uh, put it to one side. Although personally, I think that looks great just like that. But uh, as you can see, a little hole here. You can just uh, pop him into place here and uh, there you go he now has his wrecked hand and a great way to display him is having it up and out like that and just have him looking at his destroyed hand oh no I've lost a hand <laughs> oh I'm a machine <laughs> so uh, it's a nice little feature to have his uh, arm blown off in uh, such a way which is cool uh, also another little feature is you can interchange his chest so it's between normal human mode and oblivion continuum mode and this is a fantastic little uh, feature as well to install here because as you can see his tie's been put askew and uh, his shirt's been opened and as you can see the little oblivion continuum in there which is really nice and really well detailed too this nice little sort of coppery effect which is quite nice so in order to attach that you can press the brace button and it's kind of difficult so I may have to pause uh, you kind of pull his uh, shirt back a bit and pull this off and it, as you can see it comes off and it looks like he's been shot by a predator. But, uh, uh, where have I put that? There it is there. In order to attach it, it is a little bit awkward. Because uh, it kind of has to go around his neck. So uh, you kind of have to clip it on to his neck, first of all. And then push it down so that the three little things connect. And kind of pushes. Damn it. Ugh, come on. 
There we go. No. I have to push it in so it's in place here. I don't know, I'm just gonna leave it like that. But as you can see, it looks really cool uh, to have his little shirt kind of blown askew and uh, revealing a little oblivion continuum, which is quite nice. As far as size comparison goes, well, here he is next to Amy uh, at Ironside and uh, the 11th Doctor. Uh, as you can see, in scale, fairly well, looks fairly accurate enough to me. And uh, this makes a fantastic set, the four characters here. I'm surprised it wasn't released, you know, like a kind of set that they released before, because they uh, obviously released a Utopia set for uh, Series 3 and uh, and a Suntaran stratagem set for Series 4, so I'm surprised they didn't release a little four-piece set like that, although I kind of hate those sets because why would you need another Doctor and another Amy? But these two, on their own, make a fantastic set and uh, make an absolutely fantastic kind of diorama because at the current moment in time, well, I have his uh, normal chest on, but... I kind of have them posed in a kind of like this kind of way with, uh, okay, my uh, Doctor Who thing doesn't want to stay up so I'll just put it on one side. Uh, it kind of looks great to have them like that, kind of sort of mid kind of action, so like make it look as though the Daleks just shot uh, his arm off, which is quite cool. Uh, things I don't like about this figure are very, very few things, very kind of minuscule things. Just uh, at his at the back of his head here, as you can see, the uh, shirt doesn't go the full way around. But to be honest, I don't really care about that. It's just a little tiny thing I thought I'd point out. Uh, otherwise, absolutely love it. I think it's fantastic. Uh, the interchangeable parts are something I wasn't expecting. And absolutely love that they've done that. And uh, it's certainly one of my favourite uh, figures from this range, uh, obviously apart from the Doctor and Amy, and uh, the Red Dalek when I, I really am itching to get it. And uh, it would be really nice as well if they'd have released a Winston Churchill as well with uh, Ian Mc the likeness of Ian McNeese. Uh, because how awesome would it be to have a Winston Churchill figure? I mean, come on, <laughs> that'd be class. Uh, so thanks very much for watching my review. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, there's countless more Doctor Who figures online. Uh, I've reviewed loads of other stuff. I've uh, reviewed Toy Story. I've reviewed uh, Ghostbusters, Back to the Future, Robot Wars, the works really. So uh, check out my reviews if uh, you like them. Subscribe and uh, add me as a friend if you like. So thanks very much for watching. Thank you. Bye-bye.